Here is lesson 13 for clarinet. We'll be on line number 35. This is for clarinets only. This is one of those lines that I will say the faster you can play it, the better it will be for you. Okay? We're going to start it off kind of slow, but I want you to practice doing it faster by yourself. Okay? Line 35, you should have already taken a look through it, and you should know all of these notes. Here we go. One, two, ready. <laughs> Two questions once you ask yourself. One, did you hold the half notes the full value? Did you hold them there two beats at the very end? And then all the other half notes, you have that breath march, you hold them as long as you could, then take a breath, then play. Okay? Second, did you play all the right notes? Okay? This one can be a little confusing if you haven't looked through it. This one, this line 35, is what we call an interval exercise. Interval is the space between two notes. Now I'm not talking like the like half a centimeter you see between the C and the D. No, that's not the kind of space I'm talking about. The space is sound. Okay? Between the C and the D, there are no more letters. So you just have your C and next note up is your D. You have two notes. That's all that's in there. So it's a second. Look at measure three. You have a C and an E. Okay? So we have our C, go up to a D, then you go up, then you have that E. So that interval is a third. Basically, however many letters are between those two notes, that's what kind of interval it is. Okay? Between, uh, sorry, measure five. You have a C going up to an F. You have a C, e, uh, D, E, F. So that interval is a fourth. And then look at the end of measure six. You have a C half note and you have a G quarter note. That interval is a fifth. Okay? So, lesson 13, our code word is air. A-I-R. Air. Are you using good air when you play? If you're making good sounds, chances are you are. If you're having random squeaks, or if for some reason some notes aren't working properly, or just don't sound as good as you would like them to, it's probably because we're not using enough air. Okay? Let's play 35 a little bit faster. This is the speed that I want to play 35. You may have to practice it a little bit before you do it, and that's okay. <laughs> Did you notice I snapped every other beat? Okay, try that. Try tapping your foot only on beats one and three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That way your foot doesn't have to tap as many times and irritate your muscle. Okay, here we go, 35. Bum, 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 bum. One, ready. <laughs> Now, for the record, you don't have to be able to do it that fast in one day, okay? It took me a little bit of practice, and I probably practiced that for a day or two before I got it up there, okay? That's your goal for that, okay? Thanks for joining me for Lesson 13.